Now, children can't memorize sentences because knowledge of language isn't just one long list of memorized sentences, but somehow they must distill out or abstract out the rules that go into assembling sentences based on what they hear coming out of their parents' mouths when they were little. And the talent of using rules to produce new combinations is in evidence from the moment the kids begin to speak. At the two-word stage, which you typically see in children who are 18 months or a bit older, kids are producing the smallest sentences that deserve to be counted as sentences, namely two words long, but already it's clear that they're putting them together using rules in their own mind. To take an example, a child might say, more outside, meaning take him outside or let him stay outside. Now, adults don't say more outside, so it's not a phrase that the child could simply have memorized by rote, but it shows that already children are using these rules to put together new combinations. Another example, uh, a child having uh, jam washed from his uh, fingers said to his mother, all gone sticky. Uh, again, not a phrase that you could ever have copied from uh, a parent, but one that shows the child producing new combinations. An easy way of showing that children assimilate rules of grammar unconsciously from uh, the moment they begin to speak is the use of the past tense rule. For example, children go through a long stage in which they make errors like we holded the baby rabbits or he teared the paper and then he sticked it. Cases in which they overgeneralize the regular rule of forming the past tense, add ed, to irregular verbs like hold, stick, or tear. It's easy to get children to flaunt this ability to apply rules productively in a laboratory demonstration called the WUG test. You bring a kid into a lab, you show him a picture of a little bird, and you say, this is a WUG, and you show him another picture, you say, well, now there are two of them. There are two, and children will fill in the gap by saying WUGS. Again, a form they could not have memorized because it's invented for the experiment, but it shows that they have productive mastery of the regular plural rule in English. And famously, Chomsky claimed that children solve the problem of language acquisition by having the general design of language already wired into them in the form of a universal grammar, a spec sheet for what the rules of any language have to look like. <laughs>